All right, and let us start our journey over to get some stuff for Applied Energistics 2. That's right, everybody. We're going to be rocking Applied Energistics 2 for this world. Um, if you're wondering why I'm running so fast, it's because I have good pants. Yes, not good swimming pants, though. Uh, I found this on the mini-map. I guess I discovered this a while ago. Um, so I just put a waypoint here, and we're going to go to it. That's, yeah. That's all you need to know. We're going to get it. All right, we're getting pretty close to this guy now. Been here before? Uh, technically, yes, but I haven't gotten anything. Okay, so we should be able to mine... Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> A little bit of lag there, I guess. Cool. So, yeah, this is what we want. Um, now, we are going to do kind of a little sneaky thing here. Um, and instead of having to come all the way back, like chunk load this thing, we're actually going to come back with some cardboard boxes and we are going to kind of steal these. These uh, flawless budding Certus Quartz. We're going to take those and we're going to bring them back to our base so that we can do cool things. But we need to get into mechanism to do that first. But now we have all of the presses, so you don't have to go looking for a whole bunch of them anymore. Um, yeah, so very cool. Okay, so I have to tell you guys about something. Um, I had a little bit of footage just disappear. Um, I was gonna do like this really cool montage of me like making all these seeds because we made emerald seeds, we made gold seeds, I uh, put some more iron seeds up here. We have redstone seeds now. Uh, I'm about to make some uh, lapis lazuli. Oh, I have that in my inventory here. But for some reason, the footage is nowhere to be found. Uh, so I'm really sorry about that. So, um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and make the lapis seeds with you guys. And it's pretty much the exact same for all the other seeds except emeralds. And diamonds require the tier up from Imperium Essence. Um, yeah, that's really the only difference. Um, so yeah, and I also have this big field over here of seeds. Um, eventually, what I would like to do is take all of these and put them into the garden cloches from Immersive Engineering because you get two essence per every time it grows rather than the one like we're getting with botany pots. But like this isn't a bad way to start generating resources in the very beginning. I've got quite a lot of them. And then I've also set up the filter so that it only pulls out spruce logs. So we are getting buku amounts of coal or charcoal here, which is really cool. Uh, if we want to make this production even faster, what we can do is set up a bunch of botany pots to feed into one of these oak drawers and then the spruce gets pulled out so really cool and the other thing too we don't need to filter anything here because anything that gets into here will actually be able to smelt things and we'll be good to go and we also have a bunch of extra stuff stored up there so yeah we're doing we're doing good the actual limit of this is how fast we're producing wood there which is decent it's pretty good um but yeah let's put the i don't have any essence to put this on yet it needs tier four um so yeah we need to upgrade to the tier four and we're just not quite there yet which is oh wait we can actually temporarily swap these out so we can start to have lapis grow perfect so that's gonna grow Soblem Probed. Now let's dive into Applied Energistics 2. All right, so one of the really cool things about this latex tree over here is that we can use this to replace um, slime balls in all of our recipes for Applied Energistics 2. So let's go ahead and clear all of, oops, I'm still there. Let's go ahead and clear all this out by hitting A. Uh, and then we're gonna type in at applied and then it should pop up. Yep, here we go. So we're gonna need an ME drive, uh, ME controller, <clears throat> and then we're gonna need a crafting grid. Here we go, ME crafting grid. We're also gonna need some cables. And you might be wondering, why not refine storage? Why are you doing Applied Energistics 2? And that is because Applied Energistics 2 is just better. Get over it. All right, all truth aside, uh, let's go ahead and start to take a look here. So we are going to need to make some inscribers. Ooh, we have the advanced inscribers here too. We'll get into that way later. Um, but we need to make some printed engineering circuits. We need to get some silicone. And silicone you get from Certus Quartz dust or smelting nether quartz. So we have to make another trip to the nether. And actually, nether 
supports seeds. Oh, this is only tier three. We could actually make that pretty soon. Okay. So we're not going to be having to mine for this for a whole while. Hello, Mr. Pikmin. How are you? Farewell. How do I feel about the nether right now? I'm scared as frick right now, dudes. Not even going to lie. However, I do feel fast as frick, boy, so I feel a little less scared. Remember, guys, if we die here, we're... Oh, my gosh. Stairs is done. Okay, so the auto step assist kind of worries me that I have on my boots. But it gives me six additional hearts, so I feel like if I even were to fall into the lava, that would give us a higher chance of surviving it. So it's like a catch-26. I mean, 22. I mean, yeah, catch-22. That's the right term. Okay, so we have 25 nether quartz. That's going to suffice for now. Uh, we do need to smelt up all of those. I'm going to keep four over here for our nether quartz seeds and check it out gee we got nether quartz seeds yeah it's really simple to automate this stuff so like this isn't going to be fast automation it's just going to kind of be automation you know? just kind of lingering out in the distance just generating us resources and we're going to put this right here and now we have automated Nether quartz seeds, so we can ouch. We can just kind of go AFK, and that will generate. But we're not going to do that right now because we have things to do. Okay, so let's get an inscriber going. And this is why we needed. Oh, you can with create. Oh, this is not good. Okay, well, well. Hmm. Well, that just means we got to look for these mobs that spawn in the water called jellyfish. And those are going to get us some slime balls. Okay, here we go. We got some jellyfish here. Um, ideally, I would like to find four. Um, but this number will be okay. Oh, wait. I think we got enough. Perfect. Wait, that's three. Where's the other one? Didn't we hit four? Am I being, is a trident being thrown at me? Do we dare? I think we dare. I think we dare. Let us dare. This trident might kill us. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Oh my gosh, we got the trident. We dared it, we got it. Let's go. Platinum side. That's cool. We also got boots. Okay, I need one more. One more dude. Jelly. I can feel it in my jellies. He's here. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got another one. Ow. That didn't feel too hot. Okay. We have the four we need. What we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to smelt these guys up. These are going to give us slime balls. And we're only going to be able to make two inscribers. I was hoping we could make like three or four, um, but that's okay. So we need to set these up outside. So I'm going to steal back our solar panels from ourselves. Okay. The whole, wow, they still hold their power. That's cool. Okay, what I want to go ahead and do is we're going to set up a temporary little solar panel generation area right here. Um, and so we'll put this here, we'll put this here. And yeah, these aren't generating any power as of yet. Or they're, they're full, so they're not generating any power. Oh, there we go, four slime balls. Perfect, can we turn these into anything cool? Like mystical agricultures, what do we need for sl slime seeds? They're only tier two. Ah, but we need to kill slimes. Yes. That makes sense. We could get a slime thing we could spawn in later. But anyway, we'll be fine. Soulbound Trident. That's cool. I can't believe we got that. That's awesome. Okay. So, now that we have the slime balls, let's go ahead and make it a beast. Make it a beastins. Oh, we need to turn that into weird. To weird the pistons. Craft it. Oh, 
my one short. I need more cobble. There we go. All right, boom, shebang, bottle. So we turn these into sticky pistons. All right, I'm gonna need a little bit more iron. That should suffice. And we need a little bit of copper. That's way more than we need, but that's okay. All right, so we have two of these guys now, and we should be able to simply place them here. Yes, perfect. Oh my gosh. I have step assist on my boots. Yeah, so total step height plus 1.25, so I can walk right over the top of fences, which is actually really, really cool. Um, it's gonna be great for like breeding cows and such. Yeah, things like that. So cool, we're getting lots of iron here, getting a bit of emeralds, more gold. Hey, you give back my gold watch, and then nether quartz. Yeah, that's a that's gonna give us a good amount. Oh. Oh, but KB. So, wait, do these have step assist? They do. They don't give me max hearts, so I don't want those. Okay, we can put those in there, there. Oh, but KB. So, we have these guys now, the inscribers. They're created. We can hit A on that. So, in order to create these, we're going to need to smelt up some sky stone, which we did collect. Um, Skystone used to be one of my favorite blocks in modded Minecraft, but they've changed the texture and I don't think it's as good as it used to be. Um, but I don't think it's bad, but it's just, it doesn't hit, it didn't have that same wow factor. But check this out. We can, oh no, wait. Three hearts. Wait, what's the difference? So mana boost, nature's mend. Plus two armor, plus five. Ooh. For an additional heart. Yeah, we're definitely not going to put these on. What about the chest piece? Uh, three plus armor versus eight. Yeah, not gonna do that. We're not, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so let's have a wee looks here. So we're getting this melted up. This is the whole brain of the system. So we need to get a diamond, which we have. We never have to go mining again, but we're not gonna get diamonds very often. I wish it would give us some more seeds so I could make some more. Okay, so we need our presses. Where did I put the presses? Okay, so we need the engineering. Okay, come over here. Put the engineering one and the diamond. This is it, right? Engineering. Turn on more green from the back. Do I need to do this? Now it works. Why didn't I just do that in the first place? Okay, printed engineering circuit, very good. So we're also gonna need our silicone, which we have a few here. And then we'll take this guy out, put the silicone press in, put the uh, this guy in. So I'm gonna put this guy here, and then we're gonna grab this guy, we're gonna put him in the bottom, and then we're gonna grab some redstone. Whoa. Redstone. I keep running on top of everything. I'm gonna put him here and then we're gonna combine all three of these. How are we looking? Ooh. These don't have direct sunlight here. That's why it's not generating. So many moving things. Okay, now it's generating power again. Fang, fangtastic. All right, so we had that. Uh, now we need to make some Fluix crystals, which is gonna require quartz, charged Certus quartz, and redstone. Submerge in liquid, basically, okay. So, are you done yet up here? No. Six, we need a total of eight, and then we get 12. Okay, so I actually think I need to do a little bit of AFKing here. Um, actually, what we need to do is get into the sawmill from mechanism real quick. Precision sawmill, this guy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make a metallurgic infuser. We, we have all the materials to make this. We can also make a fuel-powered generator because we, are, we have um, automated the thing. Let me get the osmium real quick. 
Okay, so we do have automated charcoal, so we can, in fact, be cool. All right, so metallurgic infuser. There we go. I'm gonna put this just like, there we go, that should be working. What? Huh? We have to put it like this? I thought it could take power from any side. Let's get a pipe wrench. Just need to take the power out. Yes, okay. For some reason, it wasn't pulling the power. That's odd. How are we looking? Ooh, we're generating more than we're using. Cool. So we're slightly above it, so this should start filling up now. Yes! Amazing. So we can only really have one of these guys running at a time, but that's okay. Uh, ooh, we also need steel. A good thing is we have a bunch of charcoal for the carbon that we're going to need for that. And we do kind of have... Uh, iron automated, semi automated. Okay, so we're gonna make two of these now. So these give us the green ones, the basic control circuit when you do osmium with redstone. Do we have enough redstone in there? I believe so. If you use this 20, yep. Wow, we put the perfect amount of redstone in there. I didn't even intend to do that. That's crazy. I'm just happy we're still alive. And we're also on day 154. That's right, I went AFK overnight and that's what happens. Okay, so we put those in there, and then we're just going to run... We only need four. We're just going to run four of these guys through. All right, and then once these guys get done running through the enriched iron, we just run them through again. Is there a use for this? There is. Reactor glass from mechanism. Oh, okay. Yeah, the other use is to just make it into steel dust. But okay, this is used for reactor glass that's cool uh eventually i think it'd be cool to make a mechanism reactor but we're not we're a little ways off from that all righty and now we have the four here we're gonna come over here and we're just gonna throw this here what are you smelting oh sky stone okay so hopefully um yes they're done by now cool so we get some more nether quartz again i'm gonna go afk for probably like an hour or two and we'll be good to go. So we have that. We just need to get the charged stirs quartz, which is why we are doing the mechanism stuff. Doing it's good. We need to upgrade these uh, furnaces as well to probably the gold tier. All right, and there we go. Booyah. Do I have any glass? I'm pretty sure this is gonna require glass. Yes. Sand. Oh, we got sand. Um, yeah, we desperately need to upgrade the furnace. Well, that went interesting. Okay, I didn't anticipate it would kick everything out, but that makes sense so you don't lose it. What was I even smelting in here? The glass. We lost a piece of glass. No. Oh, there's the there's the thing. So this should just smelt things faster, which is why we did this. Yeah, eventually we'll upgrade to the gold one, but cool. So steel and then just an osmond. We have everything we need to make it. Perfect. All right, and then we should have the precision sawmill. Let's go. All right, so I'm just going to throw this guy right here. That gets power. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is, yes, if you use um, wood, it gives you sawdust. But if you use sticks, it uh, gives you that. Let's see, sawmill. I don't want that sound. Um, yeah, this will give you one sawdust per um, so yeah, all you gotta do is convert it into sticks. Don't use logs, just use the sticks, you know. Assuming you're kinda going along with me and you have these guys growing, you're gonna have a lot of sticks at your disposal anyway. All right, and one more thing I wanna go ahead and do real quick here is we do have a bunch of quests that we can now collect. So we got mechanism. Ooh, raw osmium, very cool. We made the osmium, cool, we got more osmium. Uh, we already got here, heat generator, hmm. 
that might be a good idea just to make. I mean, just, that's actually super simple to make. What is the top? Is that tin? No, that's just iron. We have the iron, we have the osmium on us. I just need a furnace and two copper. All right. Oh, missing logs. There we go. That should be everything for the heat generator. Perfect. So that just got us a bunch more. And then we should theoretically, we're going to move this guy. Should be able to put him here. Nope. Nope. Where, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, so like this. Yes, perfect. And then I wonder, can we just throw charcoal in here to give us a little extra power boost? Is that a thing? Yeah, cool. I mean, it's not going to be very efficient at all. Okay, so a stack. A stack of charcoal. Let's see, what does that give us? A little over 25. Well, that was a that was 64 plus five, I think. So yeah, these are doing. Oh, I guess I guess that helped. Nope, we're doing good. But if we surround this with lava, like put lava anywhere possible place we can around this, other than like this area, I guess it's supposed to be really good. So, and it is draining now, which is fine. It's allowing these guys to kind of catch up a little bit. Okay, so we have quite a few um, cardboard boxes here now. We have eight, I believe. That's more. Actually, we should probably stay for two more of these. Yeah, okay. So I believe it's a three by three, so we can get every single one. And I'm pretty sure, let's see here. So click, click, click. So these are the ones we're bringing back with us. Oh, and there's a ship up there, cool. So yeah, these are just basic Sirtis Quartz blocks. So we can take these and now we can set up the crystals, um, I think down here is gonna be a pretty good spot for them. Yeah, we'll use some cobblestone. Um, but what I wanna do is give each direction area to grow. Um, so yeah, we're gonna space them out like this. So I'll place it here and then here and then here and then here and then We'll go two blocks, go here and here, yeah. So this will give each direction uh, space to grow. And the reason why I did two here is because this is gonna need one side to grow and this is gonna need one side to grow up. Otherwise only one would be able to grow. Um, so that's why we're doing it like this. And honestly, I think I should move these guys up a block. I'm being real. <gasps> Frick. just break these so I don't accidentally break it because that would be sad so yeah this is just going to kind of get them out of the way more I mean they might be a little bit more difficult now to collect but I don't think that's a big problem okay so there we go and then now we just shift click Yeah, and now these guys can grow and be chunk loaded the whole time, which is really, really cool. So, put a torch here, put a torch here. I just want these guys to be kind of lit up. I don't know if light has any effect on them. But yeah, now these are gonna grow us some um, service quartz, so we'll be able to grab those, which is cool. And then we can also make service quartz seeds, which is, Eventually going to replace those pretty quickly. Let's see. Serious quartz blocks. Oh. How? Oh, tier three. Oh. Oh, that is fairly close. Um, yeah, I think we go for it. We should have quite a bit 
here. Do we have enough for it? Maybe we're close. We're very close. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay. All right, one, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, we got Surge Quartz seeds. Let's go. Do we even need those budding crystals anymore? There's a chance that our seeds will produce more than they. So we'll just see. We'll keep them down there. They might be pretty cool. I might not even remove them. And then tier three. Yes, sir. And so now we can throw this in here. And boom, we have Surge Quartz seeds. Semi-automated. Awesome. Very cool. So we also have a couple of Certus Quartz seeds here, uh, but we need to turn these into charged Certus Quartz seeds, which is going to be a little fun. Um, so yeah, charged Certus Quartz seeds. We're going to need to make ourselves a charger. Very simple to make, but it does require power, obviously, because it's charging. Obviously. Obviously. So here we go. Charger. This will also help us charge other items that we will get in the future. So this should be good to go. Yep, there we go. Charged Surtis Quartz. Cool. All right, now we have a total of eight charged Surtis Quartz. So we're going to get uh, eight of these guys, and then we're going to get eight Redstone. All right, and now we are surrounded by water, but we need to make sure that they all stay in the same spot. So I need to grab a bucket. This is a bucket. There we go. So now I am simply just going to put the bucket here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the redstone, throw it in, take the nether quartz and the charged surge quartz, throw those all in together, and they should go. Blah, 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 blah. There it goes. The blah, 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 blah. So now we have a total of 16 Fluix crystals. Very cool. Um, paired up with this and our this guy, we should be able to make an ME controller, the brain of Applied Energistics 2. Very cool. So this is all good and all. For one, it's going to require power, and two, it requires drives to work. Um, we're first going to start making these Fluix guys. So I just realized I got rid of all of my Certus Quartz. Hmm, that was an issue. That was a problem. Okay, these guys are already growing. I wonder if the bucket will work, the Mystical Agriculture bucket. Hmm, I might just need to go AFK for a little bit, honestly. Let the resources kind of generate a bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll be back with you guys. It'll probably be like 30 minutes to an hour for me, but it'll probably be half a second for you. All right, about uh, an hour has passed. So, oh, we got another seed too. We have 43 of these guys. Again, if we had uh, Immersive Engineering's um, Garden Cloches, this would be doubled. So, and then you can even go like further beyond past that too. Um, does it have to be the top? It has to be the top. Okay. So that is cool. Um, where is the glass of sand? There it is. We need a total of six. I could have smelted these up while I was waiting, but you know, that's just too easy. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, but yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of materials now. Um, it does suck though, because I didn't really want to like rely on AF King in this world, but with modded, I really do feel like like you rely on AFKing a lot and letting your systems kind of build resources for you. You know what I mean? Um, so that's that's kind of a bummer, but regardless, we are making materials. We have a couple of these guys around us. Let's see, are you a skeleton? The skeletons are the scary ones. No, it's a zombie. Or a husk, I should say. Oh, you're gonna stay away. I think, I think something confuses him. Oh, that was almost dangerous. This thing takes a while to get ready. Oh, geez. Okay, he didn't hurt. He didn't hurt that bad. Okay, so we got pants. Hmm. No, not as good armor. That's okay. And then I think there's a skeleton down here. Which is funny, because if you go above them, they'll shoot themselves. We chill here. Yep, he's already taken damage. We've outsmarted the skeleton. That does take a while, but 
and we don't have that time. But let's go ahead and far depart this started. Okay, now that these have smelted, we can go ahead and grab the glass. We can go like this, and then we can make these. And then we have a total of 12 of these cables. Perfect, okay. So now we need to go ahead, let me get this microphone closer to my face. There we go. Uh, we need two more of those, but we did need this. So that was a good idea. Do we have any redstone on us? I don't think so. Okay, so two of those. All right, so here we are. Engineering, boom. Diamond, okay. So let's see here, while we're waiting for that, um, that gives us a reward. That gives us a reward. What do we get for that? Come on. Oh, we got the reinforced alloy. Sweet. Got redstone. More redstone. And then we also got this. Oh, that means we got a rich diamond. We didn't have to do anything for it. That's a fantastic... We got two of those. That's cool. Okay, so I think that's all for mechanism. That's pretty much all we're going to... I think we're going to do with mechanism today. Um, sweet. We already made this guy way down here. We we jumped the gun. Holy heck. Fluix crystal. Oh, they want us to make fluix dust. Urgh, and we don't want to do that. Elemental craft. I guess I got this. Okay, I think that's all of our quests. Yeah. Okay, so this should be done. We're going to do one more. Um, and then over here while we're waiting, we can do the silicone. Good. Cool, so this gives us both of the engineering processors we need for the ME drive. However, I think we're gonna need quite a bit more storage than this will offer, but it is a good start. Um, so we have that, we have this, we have the ME controller. Next, I believe all we need to do is make <clears throat> the ME crafting terminal, which means we need one of these, which is Certus Quartz smacked up. So let's do this actually we'll keep that in here do some silicone we will do calculation and Sirius quartz crystal very good all right so boom 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 that sounded weird is there more than one hello the cool thing about being in a roguelike dungeon is when we need spawners i just go in here and like down below and we get some that's pretty cool calculation Processor has been created. Perfect. All right, ME terminals. We're going to need the logic, which is gold. There we go. And I believe we have enough. Actually, we might need to make some more logic, logic, logic. There it is. We might need to make some more silicones. We need to go to our quartz. Here you are. Good thing is we have a lot now, which is nice. Or not really a lot, but a decent supply. There we go. Over a stack. Let's get those smelted. Okay, there we go. Um, we're gonna make a. F we need to make two of those. This needs it. That needs. So we need to make three total. Okay. Okay. So we have the three logic processors now, which is fantastic. Okay. So we go here terminal we need to make this we need some fluix dust what's the best way an inscriber can turn them in okay so we're going to take two here this is also going to give us uh kind of a big step in the quest book too i think we should get some fluix from this yeah let's take a look here nice we didn't even have to make the second one jeez Here we go, we have that one. We have this one, okay. All we need is the illumination panel and that requires glowstone. Oh frick, I have not collected a single drop of glowstone or a single thing of glowstone, dust. That's the word. Wait, do I even have blocks? You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna send it. I don't even think I've seen glowstone.
Okay, we got ourselves some glowstone here, which is good, but now I don't have any blocks. That works. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I did not mean to break my pickaxe doing this. Why are you mad at me? Did I do something to upset you? This is fun. Now I'm terrified. <laughs> what did I even do to make him mad? I'm out. I'm out, yo. I'm not messing around with those dudes. Okay, so now we have the glowstone that we need, which is good. Um, let's see. We don't need this guy. Actually, we might need that guy. Okay. So let's go ahead and make the illuminated panel. So we just need redstone and then quartz glass. Okay, so we can make quartz glass. That dude's making sounds. It's making me really nervous. Okay, so quartz glass. There we go. We have enough. Let's grab one thing of redstone. Booyah, okay. So we've got the illuminated panel here. Then this guy and then all, I think all we need now is a crafting table like so and shebang there we go okay we have an emmy crafting table we have an emmy controller we have an emmy drive look at all that okay so this is actually eventually going to replace all of our storage here um but for now, I think we move this guy. Okay. And then we put this guy here. Uh, maybe put this guy here, this like this, and then we can put this guy here. Okay. So once this has power, this thing will turn on. There we go, I guess. Cool. So we just gotta run power to it and we're, we're set. Okay, so let's see if we can run power to it. Uh, it's going to be fairly ugly. Um, let's see, do we have an open side? Well, we're going to make one. There we go, it's on. Cool, so let's go ahead and sleep, and this will allow it to turn on. Or oh, this will allow it to create more power. Cool. So this thing is on, but as you can see, we can't put any items into it. And that is because we need to get some ME drives. So if we look... Oh, mana storage. I didn't know it had mana storage. That's cool. We're going to get a couple of... I'd actually like to get 4Ks if possible, but we'll start with 1Ks. So these are gonna require quartz glass, uh, iron, redstone, and uh, 1K, um, just a processing thing here. So these Certus Quartz, a logic processor, and redstone. So we have quite a bit of Certus Quartz, quite a bit of gold. So let's go ahead and start crafting up some stuff. Uh, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, that'll be good for a couple of those. So I have started here, and then uh, we need the logic. Boy, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Which way? Okay, so now that I have 18 printed silicone, printed logic circuit, and then redstone, we can just set this up. Um, what do we not need here? Like so. Um, yeah, and then we can have these guys 
going along, and then we can get some storage in them. <laughs> so I did the math, and we're going to have six 4K drives if we do it like this. Um, so yeah, that should be really, really nice to have. Um, so yeah, should be really cool. All right, that makes 18 logic processors here. So we're going to make a couple of these guys. We're just missing the redstone. Um, I think I have a decent amount of redstone if I'm not mistaken. We sh yeah, we should be able to do this, no problem. Okay. So here we go, the one case. Seven, why only seven? Oh, Certus Quartz. Certus Quartz is running low. All right, let's see if we can make some more here real quick. Ah, one more, okay. So then to make the 4K, we need, oh, calculation. I and we're gonna have to start making the engineering, no, the calculation. We're only gonna be able to make two 4Ks right now, but I think that's all we actually can make. Okay, good. So we have the two calculation guys, so we can make two of these. Oh, quartz glass. Low on everything, huh? <laughs> okay, there's our two of those. And then all we have to do is then surround it. More quartz glass. There we go. And oh yeah. So now we have two storage guys in there. So then we should be able to go like this, no problem. Booyah. So now is the fun process of slowly but surely moving all of our items over. And we are gonna hit a limit. The only limiting thing of Applied Energistics is you can only have 63 types of storage or different items in your thing. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, honestly. But we do have a lot of items that are very similar. So it should be okay. Yeah, we're full there and then we're starting on this one. So I have a feeling that we're gonna need probably a couple of those. ME drives, and then we'll be set. But ladies and gentlemen, we now have Applied Energistics 2 set up. That is going to wrap up the episode for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.